In this text, we see Jesus cautioning us about the dangers of passing judgment without fairness or integrity. In fact, Jesus warns us that the same measure we use to judge others will be measured back onto us. Sadly, this warning is still relevant today as we continue to see people in leadership positions using their platform to judge others while failing to recognize their own faults. And I'm sure right now you can think of one or two person. This text reminds us to be discerning in our judgments and to focus on improving ourselves before criticizing others. Notice Jesus offers us a word of caution. He declares that we are to be just and fair in our evaluations. If we pass judgment in a faulty or deceptive manner, we can expect to receive the same. If I talk to you in anger, I would expect that you would be talking to me back with anger. If we possess an attitude of prejudice and bias, we can expect the same in return. You see, God expects us to have a sense of distinction to see injustice in the world, in us, and in others. Many religious leaders in Jesus' day were able to find faults in others and yet never saw the needs in their own lives. These religious leaders were quick to pass judgment and then they were hiding their own acts of injustice. And the same is true today, nothing has changed. How many religious leaders are claiming that infidelity is unforgivable? Then we learn in the newspaper that they were themselves caught doing the very thing they denounced so harshly. I think it's fair to say that you and I, we all have dealt with obstructions to our spiritual view before. And in fact, we are probably dealing with something now that has a potential to impair our spiritual vision. May it be pride, self-righteousness, or being too sanctimonious. Of course, some are larger than others, but they are there nonetheless. We have heard this all of our lives, and yet it speaks so profoundly. Our human nature seeks and observes impurities in others, yet never quite realize our own imperfections and our own needs. So then, Jesus challenges us to shift our focus from the faults of others to our own, reminding us that we are all flawed and in need of grace. By examining ourselves with an honest and humble heart, we can grow in our understanding of our own weaknesses and find compassion for the shortcomings of others. And that's what it means to take the plank out of our own eye. We examine ourselves first. We develop self-awareness. Furthermore, Jesus teaches us that judgment should not be the ultimate goal in our interaction with others. Instead, we should seek to extend love, grace, and forgiveness, just as God has done for us. By doing so, we create an atmosphere of acceptance and understanding, which allows people to be themselves without fear or rejection. In essence, Jesus' words calls us to a higher standard of living, one that is marked by humility, compassion, and forgiveness. It's easy to judge. It's easy to point fingers. May we be mindful of our tendency to judge and seek to imitate Christ's example of extended grace and love to those around and to those we encounter.